ISU football team staff and family members gathered in the Hancock Stadium Club last Sunday to watch ESPNU and find out where they would be seated. The number five seed, the highest Illinois state has ever been placed in the FCS playoffs. With that five seed brings a first round bye in Illinois State's first home playoff game since they hosted Colgate University on November 27, 1999. We made out pretty well. Um, we thought maybe it might be a top four seed, but uh, being in the top eight is great because you, you get to, you get a buy and uh, fifth is is really good and kind of like where we're at uh, in the bracket, you know. Potent Redbird offense led by quarterback Trey Roberson is averaging nearly 6.8 yards per play, the fifth best in FCS, and are clicking on all cylinders. Well, I think we can keep it up. Uh, coaches are putting putting together uh, great game plans, and uh, everyone's executed. Receivers are making plays, running backs are running hard, and uh, O-line's blocking very well. So everyone's making plays, and uh, I think we can keep it up. And now with everybody on the same page, they're ready for the rematch against a team that spoiled their perfect season. The Northern Iowa, they prevented us from winning a conference championship outright, so it'll be nice to see those guys again for sure. You know, uh, you know, they get them outside of the dome, they get to come here. Like we said, we got a nice home field advantage here, get to play in front of the home fans. Uh, Hancock, is, is just, it'll be nice. And Coach Spack isn't opposed to bringing Northern Iowa out of their dome and into the outdoor elements. Oh, I'd love a little snow, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll do, we, we don't have any control of that, obviously, so we'll, we'll play what we got, but uh, I'm not opposed to a little snow, that'd be kind of fun. With Northern Iowa beating Stephen F. Austin this past weekend, the Redbirds will be back in Hancock Stadium to play the Panthers this Saturday at 1 p.m. Back to you guys.